Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, soccer fans of all ages, we welcome you this fine evening to the one and only Colombo Field at Marciano Stadium for Senior Night. Tonight, we've got a real barn burner on our hands. We have the boxes of Brockton High School facing off against the Cardinals of Cardinal Spellman High School. We've got a little bit of a cross-town cross -town rivalry going on here tonight. Just thinking about getting ready to kick off here. And we are underway. Good takeaway in the defensive zone by Brockton. You read up to Jen Caruso. Cardinal Spellman clears it, headed in by Lindsey Gomes of Brockton. Jen Caruso with it now. Back to number 12 for the boxers. That is Haley Miller, one of the seniors being celebrated here tonight. Cardinal Spellman with the cross. And the ball trickles in for an early goal for the Cardinals. The one in the middle. They don't have a number four. Six? Maybe? I'm sure the Cardinal's correct. Cardinal Spellman goal by Hannah Boucher. Yeah, they'd have screamed if it was the wrong team. That Cardinal Spellman goal scored by Hannah Boucher, the Cardinal sophomore. Narita Montron with an excellent move there. She gets it up to number six for the boxers, Stephanie Sokol. Jerry Connors, the athletic trainer, with an excellent stop on the sidelines. Now one goes out of bounds off of Cardinal Spellman. We will have a Brockton boxer throw in. Number 24 for the box is Ariana Silvia with it now. She gets it up to Haley Miller. Cardinal Spellman with another takeaway. Silvia with it now. Looking for Montron in the middle of the field. Nobody was home. Cardinal Spellman takes over again. And we have a free kick for the Cardinal Spellman, Cardinals. This is going to be taken by number 23, Christina Schneider. The kick is up. It's still loose. And it goes just wide. Lauren Seaver, who is another one of the seniors, Got a hand on that, it bounced up, and Cardinal Spellman almost was able to put it in, but Brockton's defense prevailed. So the score is still one to nothing in favor of the Cardinals. It's a wonderful night for soccer, about 57 and a half degrees here at Marciano Stadium. Not too much wind, but one mile an hour south-southwest. Cardinal Spellman takes over in the middle of the field. It's a foot race to the far sideline. And it goes out of bounds off of Cardinal Spellman. Montron showing excellent footwork. She gets it over to Jen Caruso. Caruso tries to get it up to Stephanie Sokol, but it goes out of bounds off of Cardinal Spellman. We'll have a boxer throw in deep in Cardinal Spellman territory.
Now we're out of bounds yet again. Brockton now with more room to work with. And another throw, and I hope that out of bounds doesn't count towards stoppage time because there is a Red Sox game on tonight. World Series game five. To Donnie Brook between the 40 yard lines trying to get the ball. Cardinal Spellman with an opportunity if they can catch it. The cross. And an excellent save by Lauren Seaver. Definitely trying to spread the Seaver fever around on the last home game of her Brockton High career. Montrand over to Caruso. Crusoe tries to get it up. However, Cardinal Spellman defense is able to clear it. Here's a breakaway for Cardinal Spellman. And a couple of players diving all over the place. Bodies flying everywhere here at Marciano Stadium so far tonight. It's a real Donnie Brook so far. Lauren Seaver will take the free kick for the Brockton Boxers. Long line drive right to Jen Caruso for the boxers. We have a penalty called on Cardinal Spellman. Another boxer free kick. Very low kick right to one of the Cardinal Spellman forwards. Cardinal Spellman with it at midfield. And an offsides on Cardinal Spellman. Brockton doing some good work to get that out to midfield. Now Jen Caruso showing off her speed. She's got it out in front. The cross back, here's a shot. Oh. And a good save by the goalkeeper for Cardinal Spellman. And that is Julia Schneider in goal for the Cardinals. Cardinal Spellman with it now. Puts it on front, it's a foot race. Lauren Seaver charging out of her net at full speed to make the save. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action here from Marciano Stadium tonight. The images of the game brought to you by the one, the only award winning director, producer, and cameraman, Nubi Ratto. Montrand, excellent footwork on the sideline. It's foot race to the end. Cardinal Spellman able to prevail. I want to take this opportunity to give a shout out to one of our crew members, Paul Mandeville, not able to join us tonight due to what we believe is a conflict of interest. He attended Cardinal Spellman High School. He mysteriously called out sick this morning, I guess. Very mysterious. Nothing to do with the Red Sox. 
There's an opportunity for Cardinal Spellman, the shot, and it goes wide of the far post. So the score is still 1-0 in favor of the Cardinals of Cardinal Spellman High School. About 10 minutes into the first half in unofficial time. The official time is kept on the field by the referees. Receiver kicks it off. Over to number six, Stephanie Sokol for the boxers. That one goes out of bounds in front of the boxer bench and is stopped by Coach Tassinari for the boxers. Montron now. Over to Jen Caruso. Caruso back to Montron, back to Caruso. They're playing the back and forth game up and, up and down the field. Caruso with it now. Excellent footwork by Jen Caruso, breaking free of the defender. Cardinal Spellman making a substitution. That is number 19, Jess Harlow. A junior entering the game for the Cardinals. Oh. Sokol able to keep that one in bounds for the Broxers. However, Cardinal Spellman takes it away. Sylvia. Up to number 11, Morel Marion. Now it goes out of bounds off of Cardinal Spellman. We'll have another boxer throw in. The shot is up. It's loose in front. It's still loose. Oh my God. Oh, and someone took a face to the goal post. What a sequence of events for both teams. Good boxer pressure and excellent Cardinal Spellman defense. A slide tackle at the end of it looked like Jen Caruso took a face to the goal post. However, she gets right up and, and looks fine. Wow. Corner kick is up. Loose out in front, Cardinal Spellman able to clear it. Montron with it now in the middle of the field. Cardinal Spellman defender kicks it very high. And that one goes out of bounds off of Brockton. Brockton with it now. Now Cardinal Spellman has it. Now Brockton has it. Back and forth action. That one goes out of bounds off of Cardinal Spellman. Another boxer throwing. Spellman defender kicks it out of bounds. Another throw and coming for the boxers. Oh 
Here we go, Montron with it now. Cardinal Spellman with an excellent opportunity if they can get it upfield. It's a two on O. Lawrence Seaver charges out of her net to make a save on a good opportunity for the Cardinals. Cardinal Spellman is a, a much taller team than the box is able to get the majority of headers so far. Here to Montron now with it across midfield. Over to Jen Caruso. Caruso gets it up to Morale Marion. And it goes out of bounds off of Cardinal Spellman. More substitutions for the boxers. This is number 17 coming in the game. Mackenzie O'Reilly for Jen Caruso. Shot goes just wide. We'll have a goal kick. Jen Caruso is fronting down to see Jerry Connors, the athletic trainer here at Brockton High. We'll keep an eye on that for you. And that could potentially be a very, very dangerous blow to the Brockton Boxers. Jen Caruso is their best player. She's got 13 or 14 goals on the season. Possibly 15. They did get two at Ursuline the other day. I don't know who got them. So it could have been Jen, in which case she'd be up to 15. Wouldn't surprise me. I'm sure she got one. No one goes out of bounds off Brockton. Cardinal throwing coming up. Montron, excellent foot skills along the sideline. No one trickles out of bounds. Brockton throwing deep in Cardinal ter territory. Jen Caruso is running back to the Brockton bench now, so it looks as if she is okay. The Brockton defender fell on top of that ball. And good work, and she is able to get a throw in for Brockton. Jen Caruso now ready to re enter the game. Cardinal Spellman now with it on the far sideline, and they it goes out of bounds off of Brock in their rule. So Cardinal Spellman with it deep in boxer territory. Had it right out in front, and Lauren Seaver charges out to make another save. Bodies flying everywhere around midfield. Here to Montron with it now. Boxers passing is a little bit off tonight. Usually one of their very strong parts of the game. It's a foot race to the ball. Cardinal Spellman. And 
and Brockton comes away with it. Montrond with it now, right at midfield. Crusoe still waiting very patiently to get back into the game. Now one goes out of bounds on Cardinal Spellman. Another bad pass by Brockton. Cardinal Spellman has an opportunity now. The shot. Oh, and an excellent save by Lauren Seaver. Wow, what a save. <laughs> and Lauren Seaver takes a bow. in her final home game of her high school career. Lauren Seaver charging out of her net, screaming, this game is mine! Oh, now one goes out of bounds off of Brockton. Jen Caruso now joined on the sideline by another couple of boxer substitutions, and they finally are able to enter the game. Oh, we have, a balloon. We, we have an, uh, an errant balloon flying above the stands here at Marciano Stadium. And now we have a rogue ball here at Marciano Stadium. That one goes onto the stands. Narita Montron with excellent footwork yet again. Lauren Seaver runs out to grab that one. Cardinal Spellman with it. They kick it up into boxer territory. Sylvia with it now. And another errant pass goes right to Cardinal Spellman. Now it goes out of bounds off Brockton. The shot trickles just wide and out of bounds. So we'll have a goal kick forthcoming. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action from Colombo Field at Marciano Stadium. Caruso with it now, streaking up the sideline. Couple of substitutions coming in for Cardinal Spellman. Cardinal Spellman with an opportunity, the shot, and another excellent save by Lauren Seaver. Lauren Seaver definitely trying to spread the Seaver fever around tonight. 
And then she makes another save. That one goes way up and finally into the feet of Brockton. Cardinal Spellman throw in. That one's chased down by Brockton. Kicked up the sideline. Cardinal Spellman almost with a very good opportunity, however, it was ruled off sides. Cardinal Spum with a good step to take that one away. Swarm of boxers meets the Cardinal Spellman midfielder to take that one away. Montron chases that one down at midfield and kicks it up, looking for oh, Jen Caruso. Wow. However, another good step by Cardinal Spellman. Cardinal Spellman with another takeaway. And Lauren Seaver charges all the way to one of the corners to grab that one. That one out of bounds off of Cardinal Spellman. Another boxer throwing. And some substitutions. Number 14, Maria Del Pico entering the game for the boxers. We have a timeout called. We have a timeout called with 12 minutes and 35 seconds left in unofficial time. The Cardinals Spellman Cardinals lead the Brockton Boxers by a score of one to nothing. The lone goal scored by Hannah Boucher for Cardinal Spellman. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action. From Colombo Field at Marciano Stadium. Excellent night for soccer. Not too cold, not too warm. The only thing wrong with this night is that it, the game may overlap into the Red Sox game. Or Dancing with the Stars. Or Dancing with the Stars says the official scorekeeper, Suzanne DeFalco. I think Dancing with the Stars may get record low ratings for tonight, at least in the Northeast area. I'll go with that. Here's the very slim minority of people who prefer Dancing with the Stars over Red Sox World Series Baseball. Suzanne DeFalco pointing out that no matter who wins tonight, the series will be coming back to Boston, so you don't really need to pay attention. <laughs> However, <laughs> my counter argument against that is that if the Red Sox win tonight, they have a much easier job of winning one out of the two games in Boston. Sure. But if St. Louis wins tonight, 
God forbid, <laughs> knock on wood, then Boston will have to win the two games at Fenway, or they lose the series. Indeed. So every game is important. Every game is important. I'm just saying, if you miss tonight's game, you know for a fact there'll be another one. So. Montron with another takeaway at midfield. She kicks it up. And Cardinal Spellman kicks that one. Still in bounds. Cardinal Spellman with it now at the 41 yard line. Kicks it over, trying to spark another goal for the Cardinals. However, Brockton takes it away and kicks it out of bounds. Cardinal Spellman kicks it out of bounds. So Bucks are throwing. Foot race, Cardinal Spellman showing off their speed. And that one goes out of bounds off of Brockton. Sylvia kicks that one out of bounds. So we'll have another Cardinal throw in with about 10 and a half minutes left in unofficial time. Brockton with an opportunity now. Bad touch by Brockton leads to a Cardinal Spellman takeaway. Brockton puts the ball in play. Cardinal Spellman takes it right back. Brockton with the cross. Turns and shoots, that one goes wide and into the feet of one of the Cardinal Spellman defenders. Brockton holding onto the ball a lot longer than usual tonight. And we have a penalty on Cardinal Spellman, and the Boxers will have a free kick from their own 43-yard line. Lots of back and forth action at midfield and a trip is called on Cardinal Spellman. About seven and a half minutes left in the first half on official time. More substitutions for the boxers coming in shortly. Number eight and number 12, Nicole Fernandez and Haley Miller getting ready to re-enter the game for the boxers.
And there's the flip. Haven't seen that in, in a few games. Montrond with it now. Brockton showing off its athleticism with a flip to inbound the ball. And an offside is called on Cardinal Spellman. Sylvia chases that one down for Brockton. She lets Lauren Seaver take that. Back and forth action right about midfield. Jen Caruso with it now on the near sideline. Goes out of bounds off Cardinal Spellman. Caruso puts it right out in front. Del Pico with the shot. And it goes just wide and into the hands of Julia Schneider for the Cardinals. That one goes out of bounds off of Brockton. Cardinal Spellman throwing deep in Boxer territory. Cardinal Spellman with another takeaway. And an offside's ruled on the Cardinals. Number four, Ariana Almeida taking the kick for the boxers. It's a foot race along the sideline. The cross, the header, and it goes back just wide. Lauren Seaver getting ready to kick this one off. Low line drive kick from Seaver. Into the hands, or feet rather, of Cardinal Spellman. And back into Lauren Seaver's hands. Caruso with it at midfield. The cross just, just wide of its intended target number seven. Mariah takes error for the boxers and out of bounds. Oh. 
Sylvia with it now. Up to O'Reilly, over to Narita Montrand. Montrand tries to get it over to number four, Ariana Almeida. She does so. Jen Crusoe with it now. Now it goes out of bounds. And we have a boxer substitution, number 20 entering the game. That is Tiana Brooks, the sophomore defenseman. Offsides ruled on Cardinal Spellman. goes out of bounds off of Cardinal Spellman. Narita Montron will take the throw in. Montron with it now. Over to Jen Crusoe. Almeida kicks it up trying to find Montron. And it goes out of bounds off of the boxers. And that is the end of the first half. So, back and forth action all half. Courtesy of both teams, Lauren Seaver making a number of excellent saves for the Brockton Boxers. The score at halftime is the Cardinal Spellman Cardinals 1, the Brockton Boxers nothing. We will see you right back here for second half action. Just moving a little and eating better every day can help make you and your child healthier. Search We Can to find doable tips and activities that you can use every day. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, soccer fans of all ages, welcome back to second half action at Marciano Stadium. Tonight we've got a real barn burner, crosstown rivalry going on here tonight. We've got the Cardinals of Cardinal Spelman High School leading your Brockton Boxers by a score of one to nothing. Rita Montrand with it now across midfield. Brockton gets a free kick. Jen Caruso not playing her normal position of somewhere in front of the opposing net. She takes the free kick. She's got it now at the 35 yard line. Yasmini Texera with it now. Weather getting a little bit chilly for the second half here at Marciano Stadium. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action.
you someone else's lunch. Brockton with the throw in. Sylvia gets it up to number 11 for the boxers. That is Morel Marion. Now one goes out of bounds off of Brockton. Sylvia with it now. Sylvia up to Narita Montrand. Montrand with a show of speed up in the sideline. She kicks it up and out of bounds. We'll have a goal kick coming from Cardinal Spellman. Caruso with it now for the boxers. <laughs> Sylvia up to number 11, Merle Marion. Caruso back to midfield. Back and forth action. Narita Montron comes away with it. And that one goes out of bounds off of Brockton. So Cardinal Spellman still leading the Brockton Boxers by a score of one to nothing. About five minutes into this second half. Sylvia chasing that one down for the Boxers. The cross is mini gives it away. Lawrence Seaver chasing it to the sideline. And it's not your average goalkeeping show right there by Lawrence Seaver charging to all the way to the sideline to make sure Cardinal Spellman did not come away with that. Back and forth action across midfield. Nobody's got clear possession. Jen Caruso has it for the boxers. She attempts to kick it up. However, it is taken away by Cardinal Spellman. Marion now kicks it up, trying to find Narita Montrand. However, that goes out of bounds. Mini Tech Sarah gives it away. Here's an opportunity for the Cardinal Spellman. They call down and offsides. 
I don't necessarily agree with that call. Here to Montrand with it now along the sideline. A push. The cross and a good save by Julia Schneider for the Cardinals. She boots it up to midfield. Goes right out of bounds off of Cardinal Spellman. We'll have another, or off the boxes rather, we'll have a Cardinal Spellman throwing. That one's ruled a handball, and the ref's going a little bit whistle happy here in the second half. We have a free kick. The kick is up, and a good save by Lauren Seaver. Lauren Seaver, definitely the reason the boxers are still only down by one goal, making a number of excellent saves in the first half and the beginning of the second half to keep the deficit at one. We have some Brockton boxer substitutions. And this is Mackenzie O'Reilly entering the game. And number six, Stephanie Sokol. for the boxers, Haley Miller. Now Narita Montron with it out in front. The cross to Mackenzie O'Reilly. Still loose out in front. Cardinal Spellman comes away with it. And a good opportunity there for the Brockton boxers. There's a shot put on net and a good save by Julia Schneider. And she kicks it right out of bounds across midfield. is kicked way out of bounds onto the Harry C. Allen track here at Marciano Stadium. That one out of bounds off of Brockton. Heads that one for the Brockton Boxers. Cardinal Spellman ruled another offsides. So Brockton will have a free kick at their own 16 yard line. Ariana Sylvia trying to chase that one down for the Brockton Boxers. She does, and it goes out of bounds. Off of Cardinal Spellman.
Number 14 for the box is Maria Del Pico re-entering the game. Lauren Seaver getting ready to kick this one off for the Brockton Boxers. Brockton with it now. That one out of bounds off of Cardinal Spellman, so Brockton will have another throw in. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action here from Colombo Field at Marciano Stadium. The score is still... Cardinal Spellman won, Brockton nothing, about 15 minutes in, unofficially, in this second half. On what has become a very cold night here at Marciano Stadium. Lawrence Hever charging out of her net yet again to make a save. Kenzie O'Reilly with it. Cardinals Spellman takes it away and kicks it out of bounds at the Boxers 45 yard line on the football markings. Now an out of bounds off Cardinal Spellman again, so the Boxers is able to move it up 20 yards. A number of Cardinal Spellman substitutions coming in. Montrod with it now on the sideline. Looking to cross. That one goes through traffic and out of bounds on the far side. So Cardinal Spellman will have a goal kick. Back and forth action across midfield. That one ruled out of bounds off of Cardinal Spellman. Brockton trying to chase that one down on the far sideline. Cardinal Spellman takes possession and immediately kicks it out of bounds. 
Ariana Almeida will throw it in for the Brockton Boxers. That one goes out of bounds off of Cardinal Spellman again, so we'll try the throw in again. Number 20 for the boxers, Tiana Brooks chasing that one down. Jen Crusoe trying to chase that one down. She's unable to do so. However, a good step by number 11, Morel Marion. She's able to get it up to Jen Crusoe. Crusoe trying to make the turn. And the bodies fly down in the corner. Jen Crusoe walking a little bit gingerly. And Narita Montron will take the free kick for Brockton. She kicks it. It's loose out in front. Cardinal Spellman able to clear it to midfield. However, Ariana Silvia puts it right back in for the Brockton Boxers. Montron with it now. Over to Caruso. Caruso back to Montron. Montron trying to cross. Is kicked out of bounds by the Brockton Boxers. We will have a goal kick. About halfway through this second half, unofficial time. Mad Dog Van Nelson bringing you all the action from Colombo Field at Marciano Stadium. Cardinal Spellman still leading the Brockton Boxers by a score of one to nothing. I want to thank our camera guy, the award-winning director and producer, and just just forever great Nubia Ratto. Gotta give a shout out to Newbie tonight. He is not a cold weather person. And he is out on the front lines tonight. Oh, the ball is loose on front. Lauren Seaver able to grab it. A little bit of a scare there for the Brockton Boxers. However, they're dug out of a hole yet again by Lauren Seaver. And her bow in the first half said it all. She is doing her best to keep the Brockton Boxers in this game. Yeah. Our chief meteorologist, Nubi Rateau, <laughs> with the, with the, uh, the updated weather forecast. A cold front. It got cold real quick. Says newbie. So, 
back and forth action here at Colombo Field tonight. In a game that started out at 57 and a half degrees, quickly down to freezing, it is now 32 degrees, maybe a little bit less. Narita Montron with it now. She's got room to run across midfield. And a trip called on Maria Del Pico. Cardinal Spellman will have a free kick. As the wind picks up here from the east. About eight mile an hour steady wind here now. Cardinal Spellman with an opportunity. It's a 2 1 0. Lauren Siever charging out of her net, and she makes an excellent diving kick save. Lauren spreading the fever, Siever. It's our goalie right there. And that one goes out of bounds. Wow. What a save by Lauren Siever. Putting on a show for the fans on her last home game at Marciano Stadium. I would tell her to take a bow, but she already did that. Cardinal Spellman with a throw in. A little more than 15 minutes left in the second half. Jen Caruso trying to spark an offensive comeback for the Brockton Boxers. That one goes out of bounds off of Cardinal Spellman. We'll have a Brockton Boxer throw in. The shot goes just wide from Cardinal Spellman. So Lauren Seaver will kick this one off. And a number of Cardinal Spellman substitutions coming in. Seaver makes another save. A little under 15 minutes left here in the second half, unofficial time. Another opportunity for Cardinal Spellman. Brockton's defense is having a little bit of a mental lapse right now. They kicked that one out of bounds. They rule it off of Cardinal Spellman. Good diving kick by Ariana Almeida, keeping that one in bounds. However, Cardinal Spellman has it now. The cross. Uh, oh no. Shot forthcoming. The shot, and it goes just wide. What?
Colonel Spellman with another opportunity in the shot. An excellent save by Lauren Seaver, knocking it just wide. That's our goalie right there. Lauren Seaver doing it all in golf tonight for the Brockton Boxers. Here to Montrond up to Jen Caruso. Almeida getting ready to take the throne for the Brockton Boxers. Cardinal Spellman heads that one right out of bounds. Almeida to try the throne again. Cardinal Spellman clears it across midfield. Sylvia with it now. Sylvia crosses it to Montron. Montron to Almeida. Almeida with a good effort, but she kicks it out of bounds. The wind picking up here at Marciano Stadium. It's up to 12 and a half miles an hour from the east. Jersey commemorating Lindsey Gomes flying up into the press box. It is senior night, so all of the seniors for Brockton have construction paper poster board jersey cutouts with their name and number on it. Here to Montron with a good takeaway there. Montron with it now. And Cardinal Spillman kicks that one out of bounds. Number 18 for the Boxers, Maya Powers coming into the game, the sophomore forward. And she replaces Mackenzie O'Reilly. Caruso to Montron. Montron to Almeida. Almeida boots it up. Very strong wind here at Marciano Stadium now. A can of Hawaiian punch just fell off the top of the press box here at Marciano Stadium. Caruso with a push, she gets away with it. And the refs are letting him play. Late in the second half here, under 10 minutes left, unofficially. Maya Powers over to Almeida. Almeida with the shot.
A couple of substitutions getting ready to come in for the Brockton Boxers as we have a Donnie Burke on the sideline fighting for the ball. Sylvia tries to get up to Montron. Almeida gets it. Montron to midfield. Excellent footwork. Subs coming in, that is Yasmini Texera and number 11, Royal Marion. Montron. That one goes off of Cardinal Spellman they rule. I didn't see that one. Not really quite sure what happened there. Cardinal Spellman does get the throw in. Gives it away to Brockton. Story of the game is turnovers. Too many to count for both teams. So we approach the five minute unofficial mark. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action from Colombo Field at Marciano Stadium. There's an opportunity for the boxers, the shot! And a good save by Julia Schneider for the Cardinals. It's mini text here now. Net goes out of bounds. Have a Cardinal Spellman throwing. And a timeout by Cardinal Spellman. <laughs> Very windy here at the moment at Marciano Stadium. We've got some red streamers in honor of Senior night flying all over the place. I want to give another shout out to our, at this point, very cold Nubi Rateau. Award winning. Award winning, excuse me. Award winning, cold but award winning director, producer, cameraman, all around beast, Nubi Rateau. So Brockton, you got to imagine that Coach Tassinari is telling them to put whatever they can on goal. As the boxers are down by a goal late in this game. The Boxers lost the first meeting at Cardinal Spellman by a score of 5-1. to one. So while this is a little bit of a, a defensive improvement, still not what Coach Tassinari wants from her Brockton Boxers squad. Sylvia chasing that one down for the boxers. Which is hard. 
So Brockton with the ball. Across midfield. Gives it away to Cardinal Spellman. Cardinal Spellman out of bounds on the far sideline. Brockton will have a very important throw in. Raider Montron chasing that one down. And it goes out of bounds off of Cardinal Spellman. rules that one out of bounds. The boxer sideline is screaming at the referee that that was still in bounds. But you're not going to win many of those battles. So Cardinal Spellman with a throw in here with about two minutes and 30 seconds remaining in unofficial time. As mini Texera over to Narita Montron. Montron with an excellent move. However, Cardinal Spellman takes it away. Jen Crusoe now across midfield. She charges up. Montrand unable to corral the pass. And Cardinal Spellman able to clear it across midfield. So with under two minutes remaining on official time, the Cardinal Spellman Cardinals still lead the Brockton Boxers one to nothing. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action from Marciano Stadium tonight. As Mini Tex here on the sideline with it. She gets it over to Narita Montrand. Montrand to Caruso. Caruso to Haley Miller. Cardinal Spellman puts that one up and way out of bounds. So Brockton will have a throw in. Jen Crusoe with it now. She crosses to Narita Montron. Montron puts a shot on net. And it goes just wide. The best opportunity of the night for the Brockton Boxers trickles just a few inches wide as a diving Julia Schneider might have gotten a hand on that one. Cardinal Spellman with it. However, Brockton takes it away. Here to Montron with a quick throw into Jen Crusoe. Time is waning down here at Marciano Stadium. Montron with it now. And that will do it. An intense last couple of minutes for the Brockton Boxers. However, they are unable to put one into the back of the net. Your final score from Marciano Stadium. Cardinal Spellman Cardinals won with the win over the Brockton Boxers who didn't score. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action. We'll see you next time.